Are you scared or impressed by artificial intelligence yet? Or, like me, a bit of both. Cautiously thrilled that this type of technology is finally a reality. Let's check it out. None of the following video clips you are about to see are real. None were filmed on a camera or by CGI animators. Nothing was altered in any way, shape, or form, including exposure, contrast, or colors. All the footage you are about to see was generated completely by an AI text-to-video model. Roger. Huh? So, introducing Sora, which will be available to the public sometime later this year. The next generative model by OpenAI, the same company behind ChatGPT that made its introduction to mainstream masses earlier last year. What ChatGPT did to disrupt writers, coders, and all these other various disciplines. I mean, ChatGPT is a universal professor on just about every subject. Even if you know nothing, it will hold your hand and teach you basic math, starting at addition and subtraction and work you up all the way to calculus if that's where you want to go, with an effective strategy for you to digest and retain what you are learning as you go. I don't see. Anyhow, I say that because I believe that Sora will be bigger and better at its job than ChatGPT is. And no, I don't mean Sora and its shiny videos will be more important and essential to people as a society. That's not what I'm saying. But as far as disrupting the industry and redefining the status quo, <laughs> yeah, I absolutely believe that. And I use ChatGPT daily. I probably spend more time on there than I do at Google, unless it's for current events. But that's about it. And let's be honest. The internet is predominantly fueled by videos, accounting for a commanding 82% of all internet traffic dedicated to video consumption. Think YouTube, Netflix, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, now Twitter, or X if you want to call it that, and many others I don't need to name. And of course, there's the almighty adult entertainment industry. Because, you know, some people need their daily rug burns. Walk Those down. numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. I myself, I jerk off at least twice a day. For example, in the stock footage space, Sora out the gate is a red Lamborghini ready to perform. And keep in mind, this is the worst it's ever going to be. Ever. It's not even a baby yet. It's a fetus. Just imagine you're a YouTuber or working on a commercial documentary. Are you hiring a drone operator? You remember that first drone shot, the one with the truck? Not just the money, but the time and effort it would take to do that. And this scene right here with the waves. Sadly, the answer is no. Never, not when you can create a better, more specific shot by yourself in minutes. A scene that you can refine and tweak it on the fly. Are you buying stock videos from one of those various online distributors who will lease you footage that has already been used, abused endlessly by everybody else on the internet and the internet goes deep. So you will see that shit again. And let's say, even if you want to insert yourself inside of a shot because you like the scenery or whatever the case may be. I'm almost certain that like Mid Journey, which is the current standard for text to still images, Sora will also have a feature for you to upload images or a video of yourself as reference to get the job done and put you on that cliff or that building for whatever video background you are generating. And maybe not now on the first release, but soon. That's a pivotal feature. Do you want a chocolate? B-roll footage for music videos, short films, school projects, weddings, even PowerPoint presentations will never be the same. And that's just speaking about live action videos. Now, when it comes to CGI videos, hey, <laughs> I don't know. This is hitting faster and harder than any one of us could have anticipated. Just think about it. Why would a studio pay teams of animators and artists in general to work hours of overtime to meet deadlines when AI software like Sora can give you results? instantly. Sure it's not up to par with big budget effects in movies like Spider-Man yet, but again, we'll see in a year, we'll see in two. That's why I can see how this can be terrifying for an artist who in their work have been more comfortable following another person's vision and direction on all their previous projects. If you stay on this corner, you're going in a wagon. But all this new fun technology favors creators, creators who want to lead and bring their vision to life. All those little nutty ideas that have been stuck in the back of people's heads, they can now do something about it. Because software like Sora is the equivalent of having an entire studio at your whim, which in time will yield the absolute best, the most creative results humanity as a species can imagine. You do that, we don't give a shit. It's what happens. 
when you give everybody on the planet access to a powerful tool like a text-to-video generator at the level and quality of the kid named Sora. Eventually, we'll be watching new documentaries on dinosaurs, mammoths, dragons, ancient Egypt, Greek mythology, Atlantis, a Martian civilization that never existed and every single possibility in between. Also, you'll actually be able to see mammoths in real life. Scientists are mixing the DNA of a woolly mammoth with that of an Asian elephant. Last I checked, they had a proposed birthday for the first specimen just a few years away. Anyhow, that's a real thing. Now, on the animated art styles like Pixar, anime, or even more simplistic art styles like South Park, Sora should be able to replicate those with ease. It'll be interesting to see what creators can do with that genre once dialogue can be synced and applied with proper motion. All of that is great, but what I'm most interested in is abstract visuals with storytelling, where creativity is not bound by any rules, expectations, or logic for that matter, where a person can let their mind flush out something new and fresh through trial and error with the help of the kid. Sora. This kind of storytelling is what made for me Pixar fun and unique to watch when they first emerged on the scene with playful creations like the short film Day and Night. Ideas that wouldn't work for a full feature film but fit perfectly for a short and sweet five minute duration. Short enough to leave you wanting more but never overstaying its motherfucking welcome. Uh, another great example is in Pixar's Inside Out movie. What's happening? No, they turned it on. Ah. Never seen this before. The abstract shortcut scene where they are trying to get from one side of the room to the other and their bodies are going through various artistic transformations the further they go inside the room. And actually, if you ask me, that's the scene that the creators of Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness used as inspiration where Doctor Strange is falling through various different universes with different laws of physics and art styles, etc, etc. Yeah, they copy that shit. It's literally the same idea but with a ridiculous budget and pushed to the extreme. Great scene, no doubt but they got it from inside out. Anyhow, I digress. I could talk about this forever, but my last point is about the real Wild West, which is social media, and how it's going to inevitably and flamboyantly use this tech with absolutely no shame. It's the internet. The internet is like a wild child that could be an OnlyFans girl or a jobless simp that buys OnlyFans content. And honestly, I don't know which one's worse. We're talking about TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all using celebrity images and likeness to create fake videos that spread like wildfire. Sure, Sora will have safety features, but just like ChatGPT and other knockoffs, they'll eventually be jailbroken and used without limitations. Then used for things like adult content, slander, fraudulent activity, and just about anything else that comes to mind. Not just celebrities either. If your images are on the internet, they can be copied and used eventually for malicious intent. I'm not exactly sure how communities like OnlyFans will be affected when anyone can use reference footage of any person to generate new videos of that person doing anything that sparkles a thought in their imagination. You're going to have AI girl groups with complete fandoms because they can dance and interact with fans on TikTok, Instagram, or whatever else. They can make music and shoot music videos for that song. You imagine like cute K-pop girl groups, but completely AI. Why would record labels not prioritize creating and developing these kinds of groups and artists that they don't have to worry about their personal lives and they own those characters, singers, dancers, whatever it may be. They belong to the record labels for life. No problems, no drama, and they stay young forever. And I'll stop here. Whatever. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Don't be, baby. Yes, sir, that's my baby now.